Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu alaikum, my dear students. How are you? I hope you are enjoying the best of health. I welcome you in my class that is English for Grade Two. We are learning Unit Three. Its title is Transportation. Today, my dear fellow teachers, this lesson plan, PowerPoint presentation, worksheet links are given. You may click it, download it, follow it as it is, or modify it for your convenience. I am going to deliver my lecture according to this lesson plan. Yes, my dear children. Under the title of grammar, we are going to learn classification of naming words. We learn how to classify naming words. And before this, in English for Grade One, I have already taught you how to classify. And we did activity for vegetables and fruits. I hope you remember. If not, you may watch this video lecture again, and we we'll learn further about it to recognize. the different categories of some naming words that is fruits and vegetables list items of similar category from a given text and provide missing letter in simple two or three syllable words these are our today's slogs let's start with the name of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allah mentions in quran surah 55 verse 68 there in will be fruits and dates and pomegranates hmm yummy subhanallah allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is mentioning there in where in in jannah in jannat what we'll get we'll get fruits and dates and pomegranates so beta dates and pomegranates they are fruit allah has specially mentioned their name so we should eat it and we should be thankful to allah to providing us these blessings alhamdulillah so allah has mentioned two names of fruits in quran there are more you may find it and we are going to learn further first you tell me do you eat fruits and vegetables teachers kindly pause the video take the answer and kindly encourage students to eat fruits yes my dear students all of you eat fruits yes beta there are many type of vitamins which we just get from fruits that's why all of you should eat fruits okay now you just recall and tell me i have already taught you everything around us has a name remember and that is called naming board right everything around us which we can feel hold touch or see has a name and that is called the naming word this naming word may refer to a person place or thing right now you tell me what fruits and vegetables are do they have names yes we just mentioned so what they are are they person or place or thing pause the video and tell the answer to your teacher yes my dear children i hope all of you know fruits and vegetables are thing the way we say everything has a name around us so all the fruits and vegetables have their name and today we learn to classify so here is an activity in your book all of you open your book and let's understand what this activity is all about a word bank has been given to you and you have to divide it into four categories okay one is countries other is fruits other is vegetables and other is colors so all these names will be out of these four categories you will read name and you will find out which category th this name belongs to the first name is blue so what blue is is it country or fruit or vegetable or color yes so blue will go to color category the next name is peas you know what peas is yes it's a vegetable which we eat and children should eat it a lot and the third name is rome its name of a country so it will come here next is apple apple is fruit so likewise beta you will keep reading the name and keep categorizing them in this uh, table okay so all of you pause the video and complete this activity in your book 
Yes, dear children, are you done with it? Good job. So, here is another activity which I insert the missing letters to complete the word. So, there are few letters which are missed. You will say the word and complete. First three I have done for you. You will say it clear. So, E is there. A is missing. Likewise, you will say the word road. So, which letter is missing? A. So, you will fill it with this letter. Child, you will fill it with letter L. Likewise, keep saying the words and keep writing missing letters. If you are confused anywhere, raise your hand and talk to your teacher. And teachers kindly, when children ask something from here, don't tell them answer, but facilitate the child to reach to the answer. Okay, so pause the video, complete this exercise. Yes, my dear children, are you done with it? Good job. I'm giving you an activity. In pairs, you have to find naming words in three minutes from your text, which is uh, in your lesson. The pair who find the most words will be the winner. Now, quickly, you have to open the text and find maximum naming words. Just keep, take a pencil in your hand, keep uh, making circles, and your teacher will assign you three minutes. Let's see who wins. Pause the video, enjoy the activity. Yes, my dear children, are you done with it? Good job. So it's time for your homework. You will make fruits and vegetable chart and display it in your room or classroom. So preferably, you will bring it, show it to your teacher, and your teacher will decide where you're going to place it. And I'm giving you a worksheet. It's very really interesting. My dear fellow teachers, this worksheet, lesson plan, PowerPoint presentation links are given. You may click it, download it, and kindly provide a printed worksheet to students for practice. And students, what you are going to do? Here is a word puzzle which you are going to complete by the clues given over here. So what we have learned today, we recalled that naming words have categories and we learned that fruits and vegetables belong to think category of naming words. We listed items of same category from text and we provided missing letters in few words. So in this way, we achieved our SLOs to recognize the different categories of some naming words, fruits, and vegetables. List items of similar category from a given text and provide missing letter in simple two or three syllable words. So are we done with it? Yes. That's it for today. Tomorrow I'll come again with a very interesting lecture. Till that time, keep learning and take very good care of yourself. Thank you and Allah Hafiz.